Regarding these ill-considered arguments against the treaty shopping provisions that allow a handful of firms to dodge their responsibilities to fund our national and homeland security, let's get the facts straight. There is not one company headquartered in the United States that will pay one cent of additional taxes as a result of these provisions. Number two, there is not one company that is headquartered in a foreign country with whom we have a tax treaty that will pay one cent of additional taxes. What this applies to, and, and that covers, by the way, 90 percent of all foreign investment in the United States that we were just hearing about, over 90 percent not touched whatsoever if they're headquartered in a tax treaty country. What it does touch is the minority defended by the Republican Party that are determined to dodge their fair share of the cost of running America. Those are companies that are headquartered in tax havens that set up their operations specifically to dodge their responsibility to pay taxes. And we believe they ought to follow the same rules as American-owned companies, as American headquartered companies. It is amazing to me that the same folks that would defend the flim-flam artist at Enron from dodging their tax responsibilities, that would defend the American corporations that renounce their American citizenship to move to some sunny tax haven, are now defending this small minority of firms that will not pay their fair share of American taxes. And what of this phony argument that we're somehow violating our tax treaty responsibilities? Well, it's just that. It's phony. Because this measure is actually an incentive to support the tra tax treaty system. That's where 90 percent of the investment already is. And so we're saying, as the Joint Committee on Taxation, a nonpartisan group concluded, that this provides an incentive for any responsible foreign investor to locate in a treaty country. The treaties are set up to help American Gentlemen. companies. That's Gentlemen. what these companies should Gentlemen's do. Time is expired.